Hi everybody, it's Paul here again from Rio Driving School and today we're going to talk about the clutch. So in a nutshell, what is the clutch? The clutch is responsible for transmission. In America they call it the transmission. It's responsible for transferring power from one place to another and that's its sole purpose in life. So in the car the clutch is responsible for sending power from the engine to the gearbox to the drive wheels and the drive wheels on this Ford Fiesta are the front wheels, the front two wheels there. So if you think about the clutch as moving power from one place to another you want that power to move slowly and smoothly or you're going to stall the car and that could be quite scary if you've not done that before you, you can easily uh, jump the car forward or do what I used to do when I was on uh, new to driving and uh, bunny hop the car down the street uh, which it <laughs> makes you feel a little bit stupid especially if you see a lot of people looking at you so what we're going to look at today is just some simple ways to help you move the car forward smoothly and with more confidence um, I've got the air conditioning on in here it's a little bit too hot I do hope you can hear me okay all right so I want you to think about the clutch pedal being in th ultimately three positions down up and at a place called the biting point so to try and show you very simply with my hands when we push that left pedal down the clutch two plates come apart the plate over on this side is connected to the engine and the plate on this side is connected to your gearbox let's say so the clutch goes down these two plates come apart which incidentally allows us to select a gear but the clutch is not there to help us change gears a lot of people think that so the clutch comes down these two plates come apart this plate is spinning all the time because it's connected to the engine which is running we select a gear which happens in the middle and as we slowly bring the clutch pedal back up we're going to get it up about halfway and these two plates will be very close together almost touching and we call that the biting point some people um, refer to that as the contact contact point uh, it doesn't matter what what you call it but the two plates are touching and what you've actually done is transfer power from the engine to the gearbox at that stage if you've done it properly the car should still not move if the car is starting to move slightly it's because you've brought the clutch up a little bit too high so just dip the clutch down just a little bit you will hear your instructors talk about uh, lifting your clutch pedal up about the thickness of a pound coin we say about because you you cannot um, judge that accurately and it, so about just lift it up just a tiny bit and a tiny bit and a tiny bit i'm going to show you with my feet in a minute how i do it how i keep control of the car uh, and transfer that power smoothly so we lift the clutch pedal up slowly and smoothly i usually count to three when i'm doing that i go one two three and we've actually got the clutch pedal to the bite biting point there they're not locked in together yet but we're starting to hear the note of the engine change a little bit if you've got your handbrake on um, it is possible to move the car though with the handbrake on uh, if you bring your clutch pedal up too high if you think about it logically this handbrake this little handbrake secures the back wheels on this car but it's the forward wheels that's doing the work and it's going to pull and it is possible to drag the car forward with the handbrake on not clever but i do see it occasionally so clutch pedal is to the bite there and to move the car forward we just lift the clutch pedal up the thickness of a pound coin just that much just a tiny bit 
and it's really important at that point we start lifting the pedal up slowly and smoothly I like to count to three I go one and two and three at the same time as well it's a good idea to be applying gas because if you don't apply gas it's very very easily to stall the car we also sometimes need to be able to pull the car off quite briskly if we're at a busy junction uh, like a, a fast roundabout for example a very busy roundabout with fast moving vehicles coming up from all over the place uh, so I'm going to show you um, what's going on now with my feet okay I hope you can hear me I've just changed um, the camera now um, so I've got my left foot down on the left pedal there which is the clutch I can select first gear now which I'm just doing and now from there I take my heel off the floor if we take our heel off the floor and lift the pedal up slowly by the knee we have greater control we have much greater articulation if we lift the clutch pedal up from the knee so watch as I do it I go up a bit up a bit up a bit and what I'm looking for what I'm trying to feel is the car stiffened just slightly and I can feel it there you'll feel a very slight vibration and we've got to keep our foot very very still very very still from there you can release the handbrake and you can carry on lifting the foot up even more and the car will start to move so I'll show you that now back into first gear again heel off the floor for greater control lift the clutch pedal up to the bite there we go I'm going to do this without the gas strictly speaking I should not be doing it without the gas I'm going to release the handbrake we're not moving yet I lift the clutch pedal up one and two and three and four and off and we're moving we're moving along and clutch pedal down and gently brake when your foot is all the way up and you don't need to be on that pedal anymore it's very important you move your foot away there is a foot rest just there or you can just put it there it really doesn't matter uh, I like to stretch my leg out and put it down there a little bit so let's do that again and do it with the gas this time because if you're really driving the essential skills look at the section called moving off and stopping um, it does say to set the gas first and the reason for that is if you don't if you pull away a little bit sharper than, than I just did you are highly likely to stall the car so as you can see I've got my other foot ready now I'm going to put that over the gas pedal I'm going to move my camera so you can see clutch pedal goes down take first gear heel off the floor like before clutch pedal to the bite I can feel it there I'm going to keep my feet still my right foot now over the accelerator that's going to set some gas so I'm going to squeeze the gas pedal approximately the thickness of a pound coin you might be able to hear the engine rev slightly feet are still now I'm going to release the handbrake and we're going to seesaw these feet so I'm going to apply even more gas and slowly lift the clutch pedal up to the count of three watch one and two and three and we're off gently brake clutch pedal goes down easing off on the brake for a gentle stop handbrake neutral and we're done so that's it, that's what we typically learn uh, very early in, in our driving. I usually get my pupils to have a play around with the clutch uh, on their very first lesson on a quiet car park like, uh, like where we are right now. Um, one other thing that you want to start playing with if you're new to driving is judging the road, judging the gradient of the road. So if I move the car forward now and turn the car to the right I'm looking at the road in front of me and I'm thinking to myself if I want to move the car forward I don't actually need to bring the clutch pedal to the bite I can just come off the brake and allow the car to trickle down this gradient slightly I can then set the gas and bring the clutch pedal up so I'll come off the brake 
tiny bit of gas and then gently lift the clutch to where the bite is and then seesaw those feet and that makes for a much smoother transition. If I turn the car around We're now in a situation where if I stop the car, if I want to move the car forward again, if I come off the brake, we're going to roll back. Look, so we're just rolling back slightly. We don't want that because we could have somebody behind us on the main road. So we need to be assessing this and think to ourselves, okay, there's two options. Number one, handbrake. Sure, we can do that. Or number two, we can bring the clutch pedal to the biting point again while our right foot is still on the brake pedal. So that's what I do lift my clutch pedal to the bite and when my foot pedal is at the bite I can feel that slight vibration now I come off the brake and it acts like a brake I'm actually off that foot brake now we're not rolling back that gives me the opportunity to move across to the gas pedal set the gas and then we're going to be seesawing the feet gently gently seesaw the feet and we move forward without rolling back. Just going to park the car up. I hope that's helped. Please uh, do leave questions and comments down below. I'll be very happy to answer anything. Uh, and if there are any other questions or concerns that you have on any of the other driving subjects that I've already covered, please let me know as well. Thanks for watching.